You may have heard this story before, but what would you rather have? A penny a day doubled for 30 days or a million dollars cash right now? And I'm sure you know it's a trick question. To be honest, I'd probably still take the million cash right now. But long story short, after 30 days, the people who chose the first option end up with $5,368,709.12. In The Slight Edge, author Jeff Olson explains that the secret to becoming successful in life is repeating the small daily habits and actions over and over. And then the compound effect will naturally carry you to success. Let's get started. The first ingredient, your philosophy. Changing your philosophy in the slight edge mindset means changing how you see the daily, small things in life. Building to-do lists won't do you any good unless you change your mindset about all those actions. And the correct philosophy is this, everything matters especially the small daily habits and actions which, over time, either build up to make you a success or build down to lead you to failure. You have two choices, up or down. Little productive actions repeated consistently over time add up to the difference between failure and success. The slight edge will keep applying whether you want it or not, and it goes both ways. If you get into the habit of doing what will move you towards your goals, day in and day out, you will surely be successful. If you let yourself go, and you hit snooze, you keep eating junk food, and waste time, well that will lead you in the opposite direction of your dreams. So how do we do this? We must master the mundane. Every time you look into the mirror, nothing changes, right? It's like I could look in the mirror every day and not notice a thing change. Then when I look at a picture of me two or three years ago, man, I've really changed. Drastically. So although you never notice this, your face and body is changing every day. It truly is just at the slowest pace that you can't see it. And I was a personal trainer for a big portion of my life. During the first month or so, every single client I ever had always said it wasn't working. Oof, maybe I'm a bad trainer. Saying I haven't lost the weight and I don't look different, but what you can track, you can measure, right? With each client I ever had, we always did measurements. And I swear if we didn't do those measurements of all the body parts, people really feel like they haven't lost the weight. And I get it because they're looking at the same person every day. But sure enough, three or four months later, with hard work every day, big changes do happen, although you don't feel or look different. All of a sudden, their clothes stopped fitting. They had to buy a new wardrobe because their clothes were too loose now. Or what was once such a tiring movement, like walking on a treadmill, now is easy for them to run on one for 10 minutes straight, and that's just their warm up. This is why you need to master the mundane. Little actions daily are easy to do, but also not easy to do. Results are invisible, at least in the beginning, and little actions seem insignificant, but you gotta know they add up. The small daily actions won't always be exciting. Sometimes they'll be boring, and sometimes they might even be hard, and they take time. You will not get to see the results right away, and that's exactly why most people don't do them. So if I told you, you are gonna sweat, you are gonna be in pain, you're gonna be sore every day, you also aren't gonna see the results right away. You might even feel worse at the beginning, but trust the process and maybe a year or two from now, you'll be exactly where you want to be. If I told them this before they started training, do you think anyone would want to? That doesn't sound good to anyone, even me. That's why everyone everywhere is looking for the magic pill that will make them fit or the one week to get a six pack program. But it's all about doing the work and when that moment comes, it's truly amazing. And just a little side note here, to change their lives and hearing their appreciation after they lost all that weight, it's also a great feeling and it made it all worth it. So mastering the slight edge means to learn mastering the daily and the mundane. You don't start from the top right away. You need to get there. And getting there means repeating small little actions day after day. Jeff says don't fall for the quantum leap mentality. People with a jackpot mentality don't apply the slight edge for the exact reasons we mentioned above. It's just not easy to do. It takes time, and in the beginning, results are unnoticeable. It won't make no difference today whether I write this post or snooze. It won't matter if I post this video or not. It won't make a difference whether I gorge at McDonald's or I eat my usual healthy dinner. But in the long run, I'm sure you know it makes a difference. You bet it does make a difference. People who don't understand the slight edge pursue the big break, the quantum leap. They seek opportunities to make one million today. Most people chase lottery tickets and never win. And in doing so, you waste your $5 a week doing the opposite. Here's the cool thing. Slight edge people do experience quantum leaps but only after they've been working at it for such a long time. When you apply the slight edge, your success will be in brewing mode for a while, 
before it eventually explodes and starts to snowball. So start with a penny. The slight edge advocates starting. Yes, learning is important, but action goes hand in hand with learning and reading. The key to starting on your road to success is starting. No matter what you start with, you gotta start. Me personally, I literally have always wanted to start one of these channels. I was so scared of starting at zero, being embarrassed that nobody will look at this video, and I'll have spent hours and hours trying to make something that will help someone, and that no one will really see it. One day I decided to start, and now I'm glad I did. Because even if a lot of people don't watch, maybe nobody's gonna watch. If by some chance someone does, I know they will get value from this, and it might even change their life. There are two life paths, threats or possibilities. Successful believe in the future and a world of possibilities. They believe that their life can change and that they can change their life. Unsuccessful people live life blaming others and they never take responsibility for their life. Which pill will you take? To shorten your learning curve, Jeff Olson also recommends you pick a mentor. A mentor should be someone who has already done what you want to achieve. Make sure that he's a good role model that you can emulate. This is how you ensure you work hard and smart. Lastly, here are seven positive and powerful slight edge habits. Number one, show up. Decide now that you want to show up and start. Number two, show consistency. It doesn't matter how you feel. Sick or tired, show up every day. Number three, cultivate a positive outlook. See the glass half full and that opportunities are everywhere. Number four, commit yourself for the long haul. 10,000 hours to master something. What are you waiting for? Number five, cultivate burning desire backed by faith that you will make it. If you don't believe in a higher power, then believe in yourself that much that you will make it. Number six, pay the price. Sometimes you gotta give up something, whether that's time, drinking with the boys, chasing women, or binge watching your favorite TV shows. And number seven, practice integrity. Do the right thing even when nobody is watching. Remember that you are rewarded in public for what you do in private. And that sums up the slight edge. I hope it helped. If you got value from this video, like it. If you have any interesting comments, comment it down below. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you did feel like supporting this channel in a huge way, there is a link down below to buy me a coffee, which I would love because that's the fuel that I use for these late nights till 4am, working on content for you. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. And let's continue to move in silence.